Hey everybody, today I wanted to show you the RSA Secure ID token or key fob and let you know what it is and how to use it. Now this RSA Secure ID key fob is a two-factor authenticator for accessing company networks and its networked resources. This key fob or token contains an LCD screen a lithium battery, and a precision timer that generates a six-digit authenticator code every 60 seconds. Now if you look on the left side of the display or LCD screen, you'll also see um, six bars or an area where there are six bars stacked vertically and each bar represents 10 seconds. And it counts down every 10 seconds you'll see a bar disappear from the top. Now on the back of the key fob or token, you'll see a serial number on the top and a date on the bottom. The serial number is a unique serial number for each key fob. The date is the actual expiration date of the key fob itself. After that date, this key fob will no longer be functional. It will be functioning, but it will expire on the server and cannot be used by the user. Now each token has a unique seed that can generate random numbers or generate a specific random authenticator code for this particular key fob. Now these key fobs or tokens are used by banks, defense companies, hospitals, government agencies, or any organization that require a secure network. Companies would purchase batches or large quantities of these tokens and when they receive these tokens they each have a unique serial number and a CD. The CD contains the serial numbers and a seed for each, a unique seed for each token. Now this particular list needs to be uploaded to the RSA Authenticator Manager server. Now this particular server manages all the key fobs and RSA tokens that are issued. Okay, when an employee needs access to the network or specific uh, resources, they are issued an RSA token. The administrator for the RSA keys would set up an account on the RSA server and assign a unique serial number for a particular uh, token to this particular user. Now these um, user accounts on the RSA server is synced up with what is in Active Directory and utilize the same username as in Active Directory. And this should be done in order to eliminate or avoid confusion between usernames. So this way we know exactly who the users are of these tokens. Now these RSA accounts are separate from Active Directory accounts, but we utilize the same username as in Active Directory. Now within the RSA server, there is an RSA Authenticator Manager or RSA Authentication Manager. And in this um, tool, you can create accounts, you can assign key fobs to particular users. You can replace lost or broken key fobs or update key fobs when they expire. Now to utilize this RSA Secure ID token, you first need to know where to access the login to access your company's network. This could also be a VPN connection if you're accessing your company's network from home or if you're on travel. When you're at the login prompt for the RSA Secure ID, you would first need your username. Second, the PIN number. Now the username and PIN number is something you should already know when this particular key fob is assigned to you. The third thing you need to know is the six digits on the LCD screen of this key fob. Notice there are 
three bars left. That means you have about 30 seconds until it changes to a, another authenticator code. So you're given 60 seconds before it changes. So every 60 seconds, this authenticator code changes and the, the server automatically knows what key code or what authenticator code is on your key fob here. And when you enter in the third input, the six digits here, it verifies what you entered with what is on the RSA server. So since this changes every 60 seconds, this is a very secure authenticator. There has been some breaches and compromises in the past. There has been a certain batch of RSA Secure ID key fobs that were compromised from a certain defense company. You can probably find it on the web. But this is a very secure system. The seeds that come on CDs when companies purchase the key fobs in batches, those seeds need to be protected. And after they're uploaded to the server, they need to be put away in a safe or in a place where others cannot access it. Now, if you lose your key fob, it's not a huge deal. First thing you need to do is contact your RSA administrator and have them issue a new RSA key fob to you, and they will delete the old one from the system, and that key fob is no longer usable for accessing your company network. Now, if you think about it, if someone finds your key fob after losing it, they would first need to know your username, your PIN number, probably where you work, how to access the login for the uh, RSA Secure ID login. And so that's lots, lots of information that is unknown to anyone who finds this. Now also a little tip if you are curious and if you need to use one of these, if you notice the bars on the left side of the screen, every 10 seconds, one bar will disappear from the top and the less bars that are present that tells you that you have only 10 seconds per bar left to type in this particular code when logging in. If you only have one or two bars you might want to wait until the next number comes up before you log in. Well I hope you enjoyed this video on what is an RSA Secure ID key fob and how they work. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.